For traders that have emailed and asked, the links for the free downloads are in the description box below. Just click on the link or copy and paste and put that in your browser. The four-step method to high performance trading and the seven-step daily routine for high performance traders create the rituals, the mindset, and the winning attitude to master the markets. Bulletproof yourself with your daily routine and your habits. Force yourself to be getting better, 1% better every single day. How good can you get, traders? Again, the free downloads, the links are down below. They're both free courses. Let's get started. Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Short video today on working or trading one hour a day in the New York session. So last few weeks, uh, a lot of traders have heard me repeat the uh, statement that I mainly am focused on the New York session. Now, obviously, I've traded Asia, London, and New York. Being in Perth, we've had access to all three time zones. And, and I actually feel to some degree that can be a detriment to traders because they feel compelled to be constantly looking at the market. One of the things that I have talked about in my seven step daily routine and in many of my videos is regimenting yourself and having a work schedule and focusing on setups, not trying to trade moves in pairs. And many traders starting to understand that concept. I learned that from one of my mentors uh, who trades the New York Open, <clears throat> mainly stocks. But the same patterns occur in currencies, indexes, commodities, metals, the same things happen. And so when you start to refine that process down and the simplest thing that I tend to look for if I'm looking for shorts are things obviously that are, that are making new daily highs or weekly highs. Uh, and again, as I said, we'll look at some specific setups which are rinse and repeat. And so that whole concept about rinse and repeat is being able to scale your trade sizes up and be able to, with confidence, grow your trading account, but also understand which trades are sizable. So by the time the US session comes on board, we have all the information in place. Uh, I know that there are obviously trades in London and Asia that can occur, and, I, and I've said this before, whenever they are at the higher low of the week, could be day three, whatever, day two, they can offer fantastic great trade setups in those sessions. I like the US because I like to come to the screen at a set time. I look for certain setups, obviously high a day, low a day, three levels of rise or fall, day two trend trades, coils, uh, and of course, obviously, <clears throat> reversal trades. So anyways, point being is that the more you refine this, the more you start to understand two things the importance of timing, time of day, 9.30 New York time. I said this yesterday and I say this over and over again. People email me and they go, what about daylight saving time? And what about, you know, in the summertime and all these things? New York time. If you And, and people want to know they can't see my server on my MT4. It doesn't matter. Like you're, I don't know. I I didn't wasn't aware that there are all those different times, but I don't even pay attention to that. I know what time my my chart time is based on New York time, and yours might be different than my <clears throat> chart time, obviously because of my location. But I use New York closed charts, so obviously the first candle of the day, uh, first hour is hour one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, anyways, point being, nine thirty New York time. We had news on the calendar last night at 8.30, PPI, and you've heard me repeat this phrase, first hour puts in a high and a low. So we're at the high of the day. We've gone up three levels of rise. So I, I also will appoint you to the direction of paying attention to what happens in the gap time. Does it extend out further or does it put a peak formation low in? Peak formation low under the double zeros, and then it proceeds to, in the gap time in our last hour, move up three levels of rise into the news for a 50 pip drop. Now, 
that forms our high and our low. And I said this yesterday, the next important time if there's news or a trade in that first hour that I pay attention to is 9.30 New York. That's my work time. That's what time I go to work. That's what time the big boys go to work. That's what time the hedge funds, the institutions go to work. Obviously, they might be taking positions earlier or whatever, but that's when I'm going to work, 9.30 New York time. That's rinse and repeat. I can do that over and over again. That's when the equity market's open. But there's our high and a low. That's the high of the day. <clears throat> We're inside of the high of the week, which was a half Batman reversal on the Wednesday, day one, day two, day three. We're up three levels of rise. The middle hour opens up inside, proceeds to auction down into the open, the open right here of the New York equity markets. This is the open of the New York equity markets. Okay, down here. So the next important thing to understand is that they have made a lower high inside. This pin reversal on the news is the final nail. That to me establishes that 75, the level 75 is my high of the day. So you, you have heard me repeat that as well. Once I have a thesis in place, it's about the level, the price level. Now, somebody asked again, and I've got this question at least two or three times a week, where do you come up with these numbers at? <laughs> That's the price <laughs> right over here on the right-hand side. As funny as that sounds, it is, it's just the price. Whatever instrument you're trading, uh, if you need to adjust your sweet spots with gold, it's I dropped the last decimal number, so it's the, the point number is a quarter level. You know, It's 5.1, 50 cents, you know, $1,795. <clears throat> Uh, that's a half level. Uh, 1800 that's a, uh, uh, sorry, $1,795, uh, quarter level. Uh, yeah, so those are that's the price. Anyways, 75 is my level, third level up, third level up. New York equity markets triggers shorts first, so they go down to the low of that first hour. That's the high, that's the low of the day. We're in an uptrend until they break that structure. This pattern right here, that V top, A top, whatever you want to call it, that pattern, the pump, that's the pump up right there at the equity market open back to the high of the day. We'll blow this up a bit. This pattern right here, that's the pattern that you're looking for. They go vertical back to the high of the day. Above 75, they engulf it and then pull back. We have an opportunity on the first engulfment. We have an opportunity on the pullback. I talked about where I would put size in when a candle breaks out back up into the initial position. That, that breakout candle, I will draw a level on that pin. So those two bar combination has a pin. Anywhere in here, I'm obviously getting in again but I'm adding in, I will add in until it taps that level. Once it breaks through, no more. They pull it back up before continuing that move down and reversing back to where we said was the high of, sorry, the low of the day in London. London has put a new low in place in the session. They go up, they pull back and put in a higher low. They put in higher lows all the way up. That's a peak formation low right after our three-hour high low is in place. So coming back to the concept, one hour a day, the New York market equity market opens. Maybe some traders went long with the trend. But if I'm looking to sell this market, I'm selling it at the high of the day once they go back up and lock in the high. How do I know the high is locked in? The high is already there. They engulf it. That locks in the high. This two bar pattern locks it in. New hour. They pull back into, they break down and pull back up into 75 and continue the move back down through the low of the day. This is a triple top. That's a pattern. That's a setup. Triple top, high of the day. 
New York equity markets. This pattern triggering the shorts first on the open. The market opens up down here. It opens up down here. The first thing they do is hit stops and trigger shorts. They trigger shorts. They get shorts in the market and then bang, they go back to the high of the day. Lock in the high and then drop it down. Again, another pattern on the euro. First hour makes a high and a low. So understand this is the pattern. This is the pattern when we're at the high of the day. Not when we're inside of a high and a low from a previous day or anything else. This is when we're at the high and low of the day. So first hour makes a high. They The second hour breaks that high and goes higher. They make a little bit higher high. So again, coming back to major round numbers. Major round numbers. Let me just reset that. So major round numbers. 50s and double zeros. We trade up into 50. The second hour opens and pops the top. The equity market then opens inside. The equity market is opening inside. What is the first thing they're going to do? They want to break out, trigger breakouts, get traders chasing the momentum. We're at the high of the day. Now, when we're at the high of the day, we're looking for them to put in a triple top, a double top, whatever that may be. We get our little five-minute reversal M pattern, bear pin micro M structure. <clears throat> okay, we're at the high of the day. The equity market has opened. It breaks down. There's our M. It breaks down. One push, two pushes engulfment. So we have a... Not only do we have our micro double top, but then we get a three push pattern and an engulfment into the new hour. And we want to sell where? Above 50. That's the high of the day now. We, we've, we, we've got a short position in place. Our stop goes above the high of the day. So for people who say, yeah, but where do you get in? I want you to listen really close. After they lock in the high, when the new hour begins, it could be, this could be the end of an hour. This could be the new 15 minute candle. I'm getting in above the level. That's the high of the day. They've they've gone vertical. They've locked it in. Engulfment. New hour. Breaks down. Pulls back. You have an opportunity for the next 15 minutes to get in again above the numbers. Above the numbers. Where's the stops? They're down here. They're pulling it back up into the high. They're pulling it back up into the high. This is the initial entry. We're at the high of the day. Some traders shorted the first bear pin right at the end of the hour. You've heard me say 30 to 45 minutes. Locks in the higher or the low. They break out. 55 minutes into the hour, they lock in the high. The new hour opens. One push, two push, engulfments. Seven minutes in, seven minutes is halfway of a 15 minute candle. That forms a bear pin on the 15 minute chart. They break down into the open of the session, into the open of the equity markets, and they pull back above 50. It's about the level now. We're getting in above 50 if you're not already in that trade. Where's our target? The low of the session. There's a breakout there anywhere in that area. Numbers. The low, you can hold, you can be at break even, you can take money off, whatever you choose. As soon as it breaks into this higher low, I would be looking to lock in the profits and be done. This is a 25 to 35 pip move depending on where you got in. But again, understanding timing wise, New York equity markets, 930, bang, they break out. They lock in the high. Anywhere now, I'm getting in. If I'm not in... When it breaks down, I'm in on the pop-ups above 50, targeting the low of the session. British pound, London makes our high. They go back up in the first hour, make a lower high. Equity market opens up inside. So again, you can go look at your charts. I'm just painting the bigger picture here. They go vertical. Now let's zoom in. They go vertical back where? To the high of the day. Some traders may have gone along at the open, back with the trend on the inside, back to the high of the day. One push, they put in a new high. And then they proceed to, bang, hit the high again. One push, 
two push, three pushes, new hour, half an hour now into the third hour. But obviously, we're working the high. We're working the high. We're not at 50, but we're working the high. We want to get filled, obviously, somewhere in that upper portion of this box. Easiest thing for me to do is draw a line underneath the last bull candle. Tighten it up under the bodies. Okay? If you're not if you're not sure, again, they locked in the high. It broke out and locked in. Now they're jamming it into the high. So you want to get filled at the high of the day. Anywhere above that first hour high low. So again, higher lows, the New York equity market, it's the pattern. Look at this pattern. Okay? They go vertical into the high of the day. That's the house, the house pattern, the house pattern. They go vertical. They go vertical into the high of the day. That's the same pattern. It's the same pattern, okay? When they go vertical into the high at 930, okay, that's different than a, than a trend trade. Remember, we're at the high of the day, high of the week. High of the week on the euro, okay? We don't have to break the high of the week. We're at the high of the week, though. We're up in, into the peak formation above 50, the high of the week. Three levels of rise, right? London, one, two, third level. They pop the top on the equity open. That's that's a setup. That's 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 the setup. <clears throat> now, oil is obviously a market that I love to follow and trade because it offers some great opportunities and people have messaged me about gold and oil and, and the index is saying they're too volatile, the one minute's crazy. But again, I emphasize it's not volatile if you're trading outside, outside and understanding again the importance of timing. If you find yourself in that first hour and there are there are opportunities sometimes at the high and low of the day in the first hour. Uh, if the setup is there, I'll trade it. But what makes 930 reproducible and consistent is that when it's perfectly set up with the open of the indexes or the equity market opens and they go vertical and you're at the high of the day and you're three levels up, okay, we have our beginning of our pump again right at that last hour they start the move when they go up when they go up like this you have to ask yourself a question everybody trading after this rise is buying higher they're buying higher they're buying above this 50 pip box which means that the higher they trade the higher up they're getting caught they break out right at the equity market open again a little micro w blowing off through the open of the equity markets to the high of the day. Where are we getting filled? At the level. This is a three bar reversal pattern. For traders who do not want to sell that, bear pin, okay, we got a one, two, three and a bear pin right at the equity market open. If you're not willing to sell that or have a starter position up here, so again, tell people who go all in in one size, I never go all in in one size ever. I always scale into positions. My starter position has a 20 pip stop. Why? Because this should break down. If it doesn't and I get stopped out, then I'm done. I'm wrong. But if it breaks down, I've got a starter in the market now. It goes sideways. So again, timing now. Pay attention to the time of day. People say, where, where do you get in? Where do you get in? Pay attention to the clock. If we're into the last 15 minutes right here of the hour, think about what's happening then maybe it's going to be a third hour trade. Another bear pin, right at the end, the last 10 minutes of the hour, a bear pin. That's a lights out camera. This, sorry, candle, lights out candle, right here. That's it. That's my signal, right here. So if you're not in up here on a starter, this candle with the bear pin, that's my signal to be getting in. And the new hour starts I want to get in where? Above the numbers. Where's my stop going to go? Above that pin. That's it. This doesn't matter now. I'm at the end of the hour. I'm getting in. There's my stop. That's my signal candle right here. They've already locked the high in. There's the high. First hour makes a high. 
They break out in the second hour. They go higher. What are we thinking? Number one, I'm thinking 930, but number two, I'm thinking level one, right? Level two. Oh, level three, 75. How many times are we going to see this? Over and over and over again. This three bar pattern is an entry. Notice where the body is, the engulfment, and then bang, bang, straight down, one, two, three. Consolidation, one push, two push, three pushes, new hour, bear pin hammer, lights out candle for the short trade all the way back down to the beginning of where the pump and dump started. That's the house pattern. So I'm biased to the short side. So I'm constantly looking to see who's at the high of the day. It's as simple as that. Then I step back and I wait for the timing and I wait for them to go higher, hopefully higher. And then I wait for New York to trigger shorts possibly on the inside or go vertical and have a one, two, three. That's the pump right here. There's the pattern. Notice how they didn't take out the low. They just tapped it and they went sideways. That's a, that's a coil for an explosive move when they, when they don't take out the higher or the low. And that just tapping it is not taking it out. Nobody's had any pain from that. But when they coil this sideways after the peak formation, this is going to go vertical and straight down to the low of where that move began. Now, we'll look at a couple of long examples. And it's the same principle. I just lean heavily more towards the shorting. Going long is the same setups. We have the low of the week. Wednesday is the low of the week on the Japanese yen. They go up three levels, beginning of the day. Consolidation and begin the move down right at the Europe London Open. So the, the, the other two pairs went two levels. The yen went up a whole box in a 25 pip false breakout before reversing, consolidating, and then dropping three levels into the open of the first hour of the U.S. session. Where are we? We're at the low of the day, the low of the week. Okay, well, that, that would have my attention then. What's the level? Double zeros. They go down and put a peak formation in, in that first hour, underneath double zeros. Where would I be looking for then for my fill price if I have that opportunity? Below double zeros. Peak formation high, peak formation low. Now we wait. There was news. Now we're waiting for 9.30 New York time. 9.30 New York goes up for five minutes into that lower peak formation high into the quarter. Then they begin the auction process back down. One push, two pushes, and a third push, and our little bull hammer for our starter at double zeros right here. Guess what time that is? Four minutes before the hour ends. Four minutes before the hour ends. One hour down. One hour trapping volume. Is it possible we could get a third hour reversal trade? There's our first entry right at the end of the hour. They break the lower one, two, three on the final move. Breakout pullback. Our new hour has started. Long traders are in the market, and where are they heading? Not only back to the high of the session, the lower London high of the day. So again, London makes lower peak formations. That is the new high of the day. They put peak formations in above 50 for traders that shorted that at 50 in that last hour at the end of that London session into the US 12 candle window. They drop it. 75 pips, put a peak formation in below double zeros. One push, two push, creeping trend up into the open of the equity market opens. The vertical stop hunt into the first mouse. Lock in the low, double zeros for a 75 pip move back up. So it's very simple to work one hour a day if you are disciplined enough, if you can tell time, and if you don't get caught into chasing the price action. You're looking for setups that lock in the higher the low of the day at levels. Your maximum stop, if you understand that, could never exceed 25 pips. And on the majors, will probably be a maximum of 15. Gold, oil, indexes, probably 25. And it's not about trying to hit every trade. It's looking for the best setup pair. And then 
taking the trade, understanding where the trade can fail, where its first target is, taking the money, locking it in, getting off the screen, and coming back and doing it again the next day. Keep it simple, traders. You can work one hour a day. You can build your playbook of your best trading setups, which is going to be available very shortly. Lock in the money, rinse and repeat, scale them up in size, figure out which trades are your just your session trades and figure out which ones are the opportunities for adding size into. Now we've got some interesting setups happening. We have gold having broke out of the high of the week. Just put our Monday on here real quick. We'll just do a quick little review of this. We have a high of the week from last week at 50. The market proceeded to trade above that on Tuesday. Peak formation, peak formation, and a peak formation on Thursday. That's three peaks. We had first red day on Monday. They pulled it back into the early shorts. It broke down again. Now we have a market that's potentially in consolidation so far. We haven't had any breaks of any levels. But this market could either push up and break down to revisit traders that are long from Monday in our Europe London window and possibly the low of the week. I don't know. I'm not a trade recommendation. We had a peak formation low on Tuesday, locking in 50. So this market, we do have news again tonight, U of M at 10, a, 10 a.m. New York. This market may potentially revisit that high of the day from yesterday or trap volume. But if this lower level tend, would tend to break, we could be in for a larger move down. Three peaks. We'll see what happens today. I Just coming back again to the New York hour, a game we can see each day when the market goes vertical and New York opens, there are large moves on most of these markets. It could be oil, it could be on currencies, you could be down low, you could be up high, but when you sit and wait and let the market set up, there can be some huge opportunities and you can reproduce that. If you're chasing moves, one day it moves in the gap, one day it moves at London Open, one day it moves in Asia, one day it moves in the first hour of the US, you're all over the place, but when you come to the screen and you're looking for certain setups at specific times of day, you can repeat that over and over and over again, and you can grow those in size. Keep it simple, traders. Have a great day today. Again, thanks for a ton of uh, support and feedback. Sun's shining in Perth after 10 pounding rainy days. Uh, looking forward to some of the North American uh, hot summer weather. Have a great day today, and may the markets go with you.